Aaron, what's your name, sir? My name is Micah McVeigh. Micah, why do you love community theater? Oh my gosh, so I've been in and around community theater since I was in high school. And uh, it's, I think it's magical what happens when a group of people come together that are doing this because they love it, that are doing it because uh, uh, there's just a passion. There's something that happens to people when they get involved in theater. It's, uh, you know, I've heard lots of people call it, it's like a bug. You know, you get it, you get hooked, and you want to just keep coming back and doing it over and over and over and over again. And so uh, that's what happens. People get involved, and then what they discover when they get here is the power and the magic of theater, what theater can do, what storytelling can do, which is, you know, ancient. So um, that's what I love about community theater. It, it brings people together. And the community is the key component, right? It's people coming together and getting to know each other, they make friends, and sometimes, you know, just for the season, right? Uh, I've had lots of people that, uh, it was nothing against them, but we were really tight during the show, and then our lives went different ways for whatever reason, and, you know, if I saw them today, I'd still love to see them, and uh, it's magical what happens. So, anyway, that's what I love about community theater. Excellent, excellent. And why do you think... What do you think is relevant about this show right now? Well, our world is in turmoil. And I think with like what's happening in the Middle East, between Palestine and Israel, what's happening between Russia and Ukraine is directly relevant to this show. This show, uh, this village, fictional village of Anatevka, which we discovered what is actually now a real village of Anatevka, which is in Ukraine. And this show would have been in uh, these, this fictional family, Ted and his family, uh, the village of Anatev would have been in Ukraine. So, you know, this is a group of people today that are being persecuted and uh, that are being, you know, trod upon. And then, you know, again, with the Jewish people and the Palestinians, there's this terrible conflict happening between these two people that, you know, we... I am a fan of peace <laughs> and that humans should get along with each other and, and find a way to solve our differences without bloodshed. And uh, I think that's part of what this show speaks to, is that there there could be a way to do that if people would just find a way to get through, uh, in a sense, past their traditions, to see the what's in the other person and to see the humanity in the other person. So I think that's a big message in this uh, play. I think that's why we're still doing it. Decades after it was written. So that's the relevance, I think. And what for you has been a positive experience in your rehearsal process? Oh boy, uh, so uh, I'll, I'll answer this two ways. One, personal. I was fortunate enough to play Tevia when I was 19, my freshman year of college. And personally, this has been a pretty incredible experience to come back to the role 30 years later. Uh, yeah, I just told you my age. And uh, to see it from a completely different angle. Uh, I am in a totally different place now than I was when I was 19, which I would hope, I hope everyone, 30 years from wherever you are, are in a very different place. Because if we don't change, we stagnate and die. So um, that's the first thing. The other part of it has been, I'll refer back to what I said a minute ago, that it's the power and the magic of theater and community theater. And I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be the artistic director of this particular community theater, and so, you know, seeing all the pieces come together, seeing new faces, getting to know new people, watching people who haven't been on stage in decades or have never been on stage, come onto the stage and learn the mechanics of theater, learn the, uh, the art form of theater, because it is an art. And seeing that come out, and I'll tell you the thing I'm most excited about is that almost everybody, I mean, that's not right, a lot of the people in the show, particularly those who have never been in a play, or have never been in a musical, or those who have not been on stage in a long time, the payoff is about to come for them. And the thing that's really going to be magical is watching the people who are in that position react when we get the crowd in here. And that love, that connection that happens between the crowd and the actor, is irre it's irreplaceable. You can't, you have to experience it. And I think when people experience that and we see that and I hear people say those things backstage that I've heard lots of times before and they go, oh my gosh, and you see the flush in their face and you see you see the magic of theater impact them here and here and just, it, it does something to you spiritually. 
And uh, that's what I'm really looking forward to because I know it's coming. Excellent. And why should people come see this show? Well, you should support the arts in your local community because the arts are important. They are what bring vibrancy to life. One of my favorite quotes is from President John Adams, second president. And I'm going to butcher his quote a little bit, but I'm paraphrasing. It was in a letter to his wife, Abigail, one of our great national treasures. They're letters to each other. And he said, I have to study war and politics so that my sons can study mathematics and engineering. And they should study mathematics and engineering so that their sons can study poetry and literature and painting and music. So from the founders, their thought process was that a healthy, functional society would be at its peak, a society that celebrated and... Um, promoted the arts. So in their minds, war and politics was at the bottom level. <laughs> the arts was at the pinnacle. So I think that's why the arts are important. That's why we have to uh, support them. And so uh, that's why people should come and see the show, first off, at a sort of fundamental level. And when you come and you purchase a ticket, it helps to fund and support what community theater does. And it's important to note that none of us get paid. I do not get paid as the artistic director. I'm not asking to be paid. And I say that because none of that, all the money that you give when you purchase a ticket or when you donate to the theater goes right back into us making more art. So that's really important. But on a more direct level, you should come see this show because this is a beautiful cast. They're doing a fantastic job. The, the singing is, been, is just phenomenal. And uh, we've got a wonderful set, we've got a beautiful theater that we're performing in, and you are gonna just have a wonderful time when you come out and see this show, so you should do it.